Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel, and yes, I'm officially back. I do apologize for being somewhat absent over the last month. I've been in the United States, but now I've got my feet back on the ground, ready to give you more home screens, more lock screens, more reviews. This is basically more everything. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a lock screen slash home screen setup, perfect for all the minimal lovers out there. So let us begin. Great everyone, so like I said today, I'm gonna to be helping you guys set up this amazing looking lock screen as well as home screen for all the minimal lovers out there. It is titled Predator by the artist Quantum IB and if we have a closer look, you can see that it's designed for the pure minimal lovers out there. It's got the sheer elegant class about it. I mean, what else is there? If you wanna just quickly see your notifications, you can obviously just swipe down or swipe up, but this is it. It's got these amazing glyph icons and if you're new to these glyph icons, well, I've got a surprise for you later on in this video because these are what you need on your home screen right now. Having a look at that lock screen, as you can see here it is, it's basically just this clock set in front of this beautiful looking nature wallpaper. It's actually one of the best uh, lock screens that I've ever seen. I prefer these minimal lock screens as this is pretty much all you need. You've got your time right there. Of course, you can just swipe down to see if you have notifications. And of course, because it's widget locker, you've got a few little extras on the sides like that. And of course, unlocking your phone, you just swipe at the bottom and locks your phone just like that. So if you'd like to set up this very home screen lock screen combination, let us begin with today's new video. Great, so as always, before we begin, we need good old apps and resources in order to complete this very setup. Starting off with a good old launcher, I'll be using Thema for this very setup as it does exactly what I needed to. I can have various grid size settings and of course add in my icons the way I want it. So you can pretty much use any other launcher that you require. If Thema doesn't work for you, then I recommend either Nova or Apex, both work just as well. Next up, as you can see, I no longer have my soft keys at the bottom. That's because my phone is now rooted and I am running Gravity Box, which is an exposed module, which allows me to have no soft keys at the bottom there. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, check in the link in the description below. I'll give you a full guide on how to set all that up. Next up will be Zupa Widget Pro. That's for the lock screen. And of course, you'll need a lock screen app, which is where Widget Locker comes in. It's probably one of the best lock screen apps that are available on the market. And last but not least, a good old file explorer. Well, I always recommend ES File Explorer because it's free and now with the new update, it looks even better. So once you have all of these various apps, I'll be moving on to what resources that you'll be needing in order to complete this very setup. If you check in the link in the description below, it comes with a zip file that you want to download and copy onto your phone, paste wherever you want it. I just pasted it into this customization folder and here it is the Predator folder. It comes with well, pretty much the wallpapers as well as the Zupa widget, which is that clock that you saw on the lock screen. So all you want to do with this is to hold down on it. You want to select copy and you want to go into your main SD card directory you can see it's open right there and you want to look for that Zupa widget folder. There it is right there. If you go into the templates folder from there, you want to just paste it. As you can see, I've already done that there. So very easy, simple setup to do. You can leave the wallpapers where they are. As of right now, we're going to move on to that extremely simple, minimal home screen setup. Great, so this is an extremely easy, simple home screen setup, probably one of the easiest that I've ever had to do, but there are certain things that you need to change in order for it to look good. So of course this is Thema, so I'm just gonna bring up my menu button here. You can either just hold long press or double tap to bring this up, and we wanna go into our advanced settings and then into our more settings. Of course, this will be different for every other launcher, but you want, what you wanna do is to end up into your desktop settings as all of these are pretty much the same for whatever launcher you're using. So next up, the only thing that you wanna be changing is the desktop grid size. And a four by eight does work really well here, pretty much because of the four columns works the best because that's pretty much how the author has set it up. But everything else you can leave pretty much the same. Of course, if you want, you can get rid of the hide the notification bar at the top 
just makes things a whole lot easier. And of course the soft keys are gone because my phone is rooted and I'm running an exposed module to hide them all out. Great, so all you want is basically a completely blank home screen. If there's any icons or widgets, you just want to long press on them, drag them into the X at the top or however your launcher has been set up. In order to change the wallpaper, very simple, just long press on the home screen, go into wallpaper, go into then change your wallpaper and you just need to look for that wallpaper that has been provided. Here is the home screen wall that has been provided. It's pretty much just a dark gray, almost black wallpaper, but it still looks very good. You don't have to do any resizing. You just need to click apply and it is done there for you. It's gonna take a few seconds and there is a completely blank home screen set up ready for your icons. Basically just long press on the home screen, select your apps, whatever icon you wanna add. For example, the downloads, you can just click and drag and then place onto your home screen. To change that, you just need a long press now on it and select edit and then select your icon as such. You can then choose your icon using whatever software that you would like. I'm just gonna stick with my photos because for some reason my gallery app is force closing itself. So what now the downloads folder, I just need to look for one that looks pretty much the same. I'm just gonna look for this one right here. That looks pretty good. I'm just gonna select set and there it is. It is teeny tiny. You can always resize it in the options in your various launcher settings. But all you wanna do, I've just set them all like this. You can just pretty much do that for every single app and you have your home screen complete. It is very simple and of course, very easy to set up. So that is your home screen complete. Let's move on to that awesome looking lock screen. Great, so in order to set up your lock screen, extremely easy, you just need to open up the widget locker app. And of course, make sure that that Zupa widget file has been pasted into that templates folder. If you have any icons or widgets set up on your lock screen, you just need to click down on them and drag them either into the bin or just select remove and make sure that you have a completely blank lock screen setup. From here, you just wanna select that little settings icon at the top there. Let's bring you up into your widget locker settings where right now we wanna jump into our look and feel. From here, you wanna make sure that alternative wallpaper is enabled. And from here, you wanna change your wallpaper by selecting select wallpaper. Next up, you wanna go into your favorite gallery app. I'm just gonna open up my ES File Explorer and there it is, that lock screen wall. Don't have to do any cropping, just make sure that it touches the sides. That looks pretty good. I'm just gonna select OK right there. Your background tints, uh, let's leave it a little bit brighter just so you can see this awesome looking background. I think that looks pretty good. And now we can go onto our layout. This is very important. If this is say in the middle right there, your anchor, you wanna drag it directly to the bottom and you wanna deselect automatically determine grid size. A 10 by 10 always works well for me. So I left it at that and you wanna select save. Here you can also deselect, well enable hide notification bar as that always looks good. You want it to be as minimal as possible. And of course advanced, you just wanna make sure that your widget overlap setting is enabled just so you can have any widget overlapping if that is the case. You just go back now, you want a completely blank lock screen like you have right here as all you need to do now is to add in that clock that right there using Zupa widget. So if I hold down on that lock screen and I select widgets right now, I wanna scroll all the way to the very bottom and select Zupa widget pro. Doesn't really matter what size you go for as we're gonna be resizing, but let's just go for four by four. Makes my life a bit easier. I wanna long press on it and select resize. This will now enable me to make it a, let's get it a little, a little bit bigger, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna just select it. This is gonna open up the Zupa widget configuration menu whereby you wanna stick your SD card because that's where you saved it. There is the Predator clock, very minimal. There it is right there. And of course, you just wanna see if it looks good. So if I not go back and see, I think that size looks pretty good. Of course, if it doesn't look too good, you can just select it once again, bring it up here and then resize it accordingly. But I think this looks pretty good. And now I'm just gonna go into my widget on tap action as I just want it to be disabled. That's because if I tap it, I don't want it to open up this configuration menu here once again. You can of course set it to open up, say your clock, right there you can just set it to your clock and then if you tap this any, anywhere on this area, it'll open up your clock. But I just prefer leaving it as disabled. This makes my life a whole lot easier. I don't want to keep changing my alarm every single time I tap it. So I think that looks pretty good. You can select back right now. And as you can see, tapping it, nothing does nothing whatsoever. Now we just need to add in an invisible unlocker just to make it look a whole lot minimal and to complete the setup. So in order to do that, I'm gonna long press on it, select custom slider, 
as now we want to add in our own slider. Now, of course, you want to use the one here titled Invisible Tabs. If you don't have that, all you have to do is select Get Themes. This is going to bring you up into your TeslaCoil.com website, whereby it gives you a few themes to choose from. But it's the one here titled Invisible Tabs. So you just need to select that. It's going to ask you what you want to save it as. It doesn't really matter as all you have to do is once it's finished downloading, you just need to select it and then it'll bring it up straight in Widget Locker. Now we don't need this volume icon, so we can swipe that away and make it disabled. So swiping that to the left and then making it disabled. But the one that we worried about is this green unlock icon. We're just gonna swipe that to the right this time as we want it to, to be selected. And we just wanna change that icon to a blank PNG. So by selecting the icon tab and then by selecting your files, for now you can just select a blank PNG and of course, that is that done. Don't worry, this is all provided in the link in the description below. And you just need to select done, and there it is. It's gonna be obviously invisible, so that doesn't really help matters much. Look around for it. You can select resize now and make it a slightly bit larger than it orig originally is, just to make unlocking your phone a whole lot easier. But you can now just test it out by swiping away, and there it unlocks your phone just like that. What's neat about Widget Locker, it's got this little slide there that you can get some more apps as well as your camera and of course you can disable it if you so wish but other than that i just want to focus again on these glyph icons uh, it's by the author tokens and he's done an amazing job if you go on to deviant art and most of the screens on my color screen well the minimal home screens you'll see that they've got these glyph icons and there's not a lot to choose from but they are truly one of the best minimal icons that i've ever seen in my entire life i really enjoy them and they're free which is pretty awesome so you definitely want to go check those out and start making some minimal screens with these icons but that is this very setup complete you've got your amazing minimal lock screen right there as well as your very very minimal home screen right here of course you can still get to everything that you need so that's pretty much this home screen complete so thanks very much guys for watching this video. I hope your phone looks a whole lot better now and a lot more minimal. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up as well as so please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to check out our various social communities. We're on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, as well as Instagram. Always trying to help you guys out as much as possible. Big shout out to Rebecca for watching this video. How are you doing? So other than that, it's Marco here from the My Color Screen channel. And as always, don't stop customizing.